a lot of questions since my last video on why the springs are in the front of the center pull rear end or why we recommend that. Um, so I'm gonna explain it, hopefully a little bit more in depth. Right, so when you have a center pull car, your pivots are basically in line off this back side of the rear end. So there's nothing to keep the pinion from floating up or down. So you have to have the springs off the front to absorb all that. Otherwise, when you jump in the gas, the pinion angle, the pinion is just going to go up in the air and rip the drive shaft out. Um, now, if you run your top length downhill, then the, then you can run with the springs on either side. And, and I end up recommending that to a lot of people who misunderstood or didn't understand what they were putting together. You know, and they call me last minute and they're like, "I got all the center pull stuff on my car and." When I jump in the gas, like the whole back of the car just sets down, you know, and or, or even before they get to the track, we're talking, and in the last minute, I find out that they don't have the ability to put springs on the front because they never put front shock mounts in. And I'm like, well, then you better swap your top link to downhill, you know, run it, you know, four to eight degrees downhill, and then you can leave the shocks on the back. Um, but otherwise, if you're going to run it uphill so that in the gas it pulls the chassis down, at that point, all your links are off the back and they're all running uphill so there is no triangulation so there's nothing to oppose the load from the lowers versus the uppers so there you need the shocks on the front because that's what keeps the pinion you know from floating up when you jump in the gas the spring compressing is what makes the grip because it doesn't it can't go solid it just the spring compresses and acts like a big torque absorber for the tire so the tire doesn't take that shock load and uh and lose traction, spin the tires. Um, so, but if you're running right rear only center pull, you could run the top link uphill or downhill because the left rear is off the bottom of the housing, so it's somewhat triangulated a little bit more. more. When you're running right rear only, I, I always run it downhill, um, but that's not saying that you probably couldn't run it uphill. I've never run it that way, so I can't say for sure if there'd be an issue. Um, but when you're running the full center pull stuff, if you're going to run the top link uphill so that pulls the chassis down in the gas the spring at least one spring has to be off the front side preferably both of them um, if you can't put the springs off the front for clearance issues then you're going to be stuck with the top link has to run downhill and then you can leave the shocks on the back um, i don't know that you gain the benefit because now you're back to the links binding against each other they're just higher in the car so to me at that point you might as well run right rear only, so it shoves the car on the left front at least. I don't know that you're gaining anything, or as much by having the left rear trailing arm high in the car and still fighting the top link. Um, anyway, hopefully that helps people understand a little bit more about why you gotta have a spring off the front side, at least one spring, if not both, when you're running the center pull stuff, is it's all about the pinion wrap, you know, and controlling that, otherwise, like I said, it's like having a hinge here in the car, the whole, whole rear end can flip up and down. So when you lift, the thing drops down. When you jump in the gas, it jumps up and there's nothing to control that. That's what the shock and spring are doing when you have them off the front and all the pivots off the back side of the housing.